Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Planking. Before we get into today's fun video on an NFA item that's going to be pretty fun, I uh, want to give a big thanks to a new sponsor of ours, and that's Gray Man Tactical. Gray Man Tactical allows you to conquer your gear with their products like the RMP or the Rigid Molly Panel. The one I'm showing you now is one that attaches to the back of my passenger seat in my truck. It allows a fire extinguisher, a standard size AR-15, and tons of other gear, and also have a cover that goes over the whole thing so it's out of sight, out of mind for anyone who may be peering in the truck. Gray Man Tactical offers a variety of sizes and mounting options. They're US made, family owned, and overall just a really cool company to work with. I'll be sure to put a link in the description to check them out. And just for full transparency sakes, if you guys go through that link in my description, it actually helps me out a little bit as well. So once again, thanks Gray Man Tactical for sponsoring this video. Now let's get on to an ACR SBR. This video is a teaser for me just as much as it is you guys. I have recently bought, no secret, I really like the Bushmaster ACR. It was one of the earlier rifles I got and started showcasing on the channel. Uh, full length, 16, 16 and a quarter inch barrel or whatever else. I had recently bought this right here. So if you want to get a close up, this is a factory SBR. That's a short barreled rifle, factory 10 and a half inch barrel with what they had called the ATAX camo. It was a police trade-in. Bought it on Gunbroker, spent a pretty penny on it, but all is good. Uh, as of now, not in production anymore. However, Bushmaster on Instagram has been teasing a little bit. So maybe they'll bring some support for the ACR again. But uh, for now, they're not in production. I really like these. So I have bought an SBR, the quick, you know, for the layman, as far as the ACR is kind of like, I'm sorry, the SBR is like buying a suppressor. Uh, so I have to wait some time before I get to bring it home. However, we are here today shooting it because the guys at Saddle Rock Armory, which is my dealer, uh, they're out here today as well. So it's all kosher with the law. So right on. Anyway, Saddle Rock Armory, they've been awesome. They've been doing a lot of my transfers. Uh, also, I've taken quite a bit of my money. They hooked me up actually as well, helped me get some Rhino safes for my new crib. So I appreciate them. They're really cool guys off 620 in Austin. So again, check them out. Um, so they're here with me. So we're gonna see what they think. They also brought their ACRs as well. Buddy James, you'll see him in a bit. He's got his modestly painted ACR with the 18 and a half inch uh, barrel in that with an OSS can. Let's load up a little bit, shoot around and uh, just have a nice ACR day. This is an AAC SDN6762. So it's a 30 cal can on the suppressed mode. Little M bus sights, EOTech EXPS 3.0, um, and the G43 magnifier, which is a more compact one. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to run a magnifier all the time on the SBR, but as of right now, I'm digging it. So it should be sighted in pretty good. I did a few rounds. What's cool about this is I have it on the suppressed mode, so it kind of detunes that gas. And you got a really, really light recoil impulse. A little 10 and a half full speed 556. Five, the thing is so sweet. We'll shoot a little bit more, get some B-roll, all that, but let's let them shoot it some. All right, so this is my buddy James. He's got his ACR and he's got mine on the left. And uh, he's gonna get impressions on both and no better way to do it than dual wield. So whenever you're ready, dude. So what do you think? I think the Tiger camo kind of adds to the... More power. Yeah. 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 Took me a while to unlock it. I think it's something witty to say though. That's All right, well, yeah, you just said it. All right, Jackson with the ACR. Of course, I'm not gonna fully load you, it's 2021. That mag dump is the biggest flex you could do in 2021 right now. All right, so Jackson and I are both big fans of the ACR. James just recently picked one up, so now we're all ACR buddies. But uh, yeah, so tell me, tip to butt, as Grantham would say, what you got here? Rugged Radiant, uh, 30 cal can on it, 12.5 inch barrel SBR with a PDW stock on it. Yeah, that's that some dude made in his garage. <laughs> and I paid way too much for on Gunbroker. As we do. I've been learning from you, it looks like. I know. I know this was a little bit more of an unconventional shorter video. Like I said, it's just a tease for you guys because it is to me because this gun has to go back with those guys uh, after today. Um, not done shooting though. We have about three quarters of a mag here and then I have another gun, not an ACR that I'm curious about. That Oh, you guys will see in a second. Oh no. 
Jackson filming me actually made the fatal flaw of selling a gun. You don't sell guns, you're always going to regret it. So now he sees me with his X and I'm all good with it. So we've got a couple shots here with the SIG 556 SWAT. What am I doing? I actually got to change the form of it. I shot it briefly back in maybe January, a couple months ago in this form, unsuppressed. What we're going to go ahead and do, flip that over. Should be good for suppressed. Let me get some gloves, get that AAC can on here. And I'm very curious how this performs suppressed. But yeah, a little um, classic 5.56 SWAT, piston driven 5.56 rifle. So pretty cool. Give me a second. We're gonna go ahead and put the can on here. Now, what I love about this gun when I was shooting it unsuppressed was like the recoil impulse was so light. So I'm wondering what happens here. I'm gonna go for rock so we don't hear the steel. Just to get some noise reference. Oh, that's cool too. Only a few rounds. Yeah, that's sweet. Not too gassy, just from the slow, what was that, five rounds or whatever, but it's a bit of a musket now, but not too bad. A patrol SBR would be pretty cool. Again, I apologize for the unconventionally short video, but uh, again, we'll come back out here when I, for one, hopefully get some more ammo, but when I get approved and get to take her home with me. But for now, I got 10 rounds, so uh, make it rain a little bit. Very nice. Love the ACR before, love it even more now. First time shooting an S, uh, SBR version, 10 and a half inch barrel. Uh, yeah, still a big fan. That does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and you guys will see more of this hopefully before too long. Anyway, see you guys next time.